Hey everyone, welcome back to another Mattel Jurassic World review. Today we're taking a look at the new Dino Trackers, Camouflage and Battle, Indominus Rex. Now full disclosure, I actually had no plans on picking this figure up. The original version is fine for my collection now. I'm just kind of holding out for the Hammer Collection version that we will definitely be getting sometime in the near future. But I was at my local Target the other day, saw it on the shelf, and yeah, this thing is cool. It's much more proportionate than the original one and i just really really like the look of this figure plus target is having that 25 percent off action figure sale so i got this thing for just under 40 dollars i really couldn't pass up that deal and i don't have it on the packaging yet and i have no regrets picking this thing up and if you want to get one for yourself i'll leave the link down below to target if you want to order one now let's go over the package really quick before we crack this big girl open you got the jurassic world logo down here dino trackers logo over here can't really see it but behind the Adominus's head is the mountain biome we got beta and blue in the background over there the less said about them the better spinning around we get a picture of how all the new action features work on this Indominus rex and over here is the other figure that will eventually be coming out in this assortment the t-rex um that one i'm definitely not going to be picking up you know i already have the hammond collection version uh, this, the paint scheme on this thing looks really, really bland. Yeah, it comes with capture gear, but you know, I'm not going to shell 50 bucks out just to get some T-Rex capture gear. So enough about the packaging. Let's crack this beautiful looking figure and take a closer look. And here is the Indominus Rex out of the packaging. I have to say, I'm so glad I changed my mind and picked this up. I really like the original version. I still consider that one of the best toys Mattel. Uh, has put out in the main line but this one just looks so much better it's much more proportionate uh you know the other one the head was a little bit oversized and why that's mainly due to the action feature but this one it just turned out absolutely great it is very sparsely painted but the indominus rec really had no color to it. it's just that grayish white color so it's just the right amount of paint on it unfortunately the hand claws aren't painted in you know with such little paint apps you'd think mattel would go the extra mile and actually paint in those really long claws on the hands but other than that just a really really good looking figure i like how they're using uh plastic inserts for the teeth now no more worrying about you know sloppy paint on the teeth i know that was an issue with the original dominus rex but from top to bottom this thing looks great the quills on the back of the neck are much more pronounced just all the proportions just look so much better on here and i can't wait for the inevitable hammond collection release of this uh you know hybrid dinosaur i know the Adonis was always you know controversial when it came out but you know what i actually like the design i definitely like it a lot better than the indoraptor and we all know there's zero indoraptor reviews on this channel and the only time it might happen if we ever get a hammond collection release of that dino but other than that yeah this thing is cool and i am digging it and now for some measurements this figure is a whopping 21 and a half inches long from the tip of the tail to the tip of the snout or 54.6 centimeters and about eight and a half inches tall to the top of the head or just over 19 centimeters so the indominus rex in jurassic world was around 40 feet long or 12 meters so i put this figure in the 122 scale range and now let's zoom and take a look at some of the finer details on this figure starting with that really gruesome gnarly looking head much better job than the original one. I'm going to take the original one out later, a little bit uh, later on in comparisons. I'll show you the differences between the two figures. But yeah, they really nail the head sculpt on here. You do have some dark shading for the finestras in the orbit. The eye is painted bright orange with a slit pupil. You can see those teeth. Let's open up the mouth just a little bit. You see those teeth are plastic inserts. And they look just so much better uh, than painted on teeth. You do have a nice textured light pink tongue. All done in glossy pink plastic. Even the roof of the mouth is done in that glossy uh, pink plastic. And here's a view of the Indominus from the front. Just lots of nice details all over it. Like I said, you know, it, Indominus is just a very basic color scheme. Just that whitish gray coloration. I think they nailed it with the sparse paint apps on here. For once, the sparse paint apps actually really, really work. You can see the quills are also a separate insert. And they are made of very soft, flexible rubber material. Just some large osteoderms going down the neck going down to those very long powerful looking arms you can see little bits of gray plastic mixed in with the white to give it a little bit more definition the hand claws are nice and long like i said earlier they're not painted in they weren't painted in on the original i guess we have to wait for a hammond collection release before we see painted claws on here which is kind of a shame so little paint apps on here i don't know why the tell skimps on the budget 
I just can't paint the hand claws of some of these larger figures. Going down to the body, you can see that shading of darker gray to contrast with the light gray. Here's a view from the tops. So you can see just how dark that coloration of the gray is. All those large spikes and bumps all over the place. And then going down to the thigh, there's a little trap door right here, which reveals the scan code for those who want to scan it into the fax app. And then going down to the legs, you do have nicely painted toe claws all done in a glossy, you know, brownish color. Too bad they couldn't put that on the hands and on the underside you can see the speaker for the action feature and then going down to the tail it has a nice proportionate looking tail even in the movie the indominus rex did not look like it had a super long tail so this one actually looks okay to me unfortunately this piece right here which is a, like a softer rubber material is not color matched well with the rest of the figure so it's kind of an abrupt color stop but hey it is what it is it is it's really tough you know to mix two different plastics and get the colors to match up we see it a lot on transformer figures so yeah all around really really love how this thing turned out now for articulation it's pretty basic on this feature most of it is tied to the action feature which we'll get to momentarily the arms are on a nice clicky ratchet joint they can go backwards and forwards and you can also swing the arms out to the side and then going down to the elbow you get about just under 90 degrees of bend on that elbow joint and you get some rotation at that joint so you can get some nice movement on the arms for the hind legs they can move backwards and forwards and you do get a little bit of rotation on the ankle and on the back right here you do get a little bit of, of a hip pivot but you can get the figure in a pretty nice neutral pose if you want to unlike the other indominus which the leg mechanism on it kind of wore out and the figure would lean over time but this one feels much much more sturdy and then to activate the action feature there is a button on the back right here and pressing that will give you all those nice juicy indominus sounds and you can also swing the tail from side to side to get the head to move from side to side and let's turn the lights off so you can see that camo action feature Yes, it's still daylight, daylight out where I'm filming this, but it should show up pretty good on camera. That just looks really, really cool. Yeah, it's not super, you know, camo like it was in the movie, but it's a cool light up feature. And I just like how you can see it, how it's all molted throughout the whole body. Definitely a really, really neat action feature. I love it. Now moving on with comparisons. Here it is with the Hammond Collection, Robert Muldoon. And next up here it is with the original Dominus Rex toy. I love the first one. It's definitely one of my favorite mainline uh, figures of all time. You can see this new one is much smaller uh, than the original, especially the head. The head on this one is absolutely huge. That's because I had a swallowing feature. Let's just get them a little bit closer to the camera so you can see the size difference in the head. Just love the head sculpt on this one. This one looks much more movie accurate. Uh, the quills look a lot better on this one versus uh, the original because these are a separate molded piece and they're a different color. But, you know, the color schemes are pretty much identical between both of them. Both are great figures uh, in their own right, but uh, mine's already starting to get the leans. That was a problem with the original. Just uh, It was just really front-heavy figure and whatever you know, was keeping the hips together, it just causes like leanage over time, which is unfortunate because it's just such a good toy but this one seems a little bit more sturdy but i guess time will tell to see if this one uh holds up better over time now let's do a couple smaller figures here it is with the strike attack prestosuchus and gigant spinosaurus let's do a couple hammond collection figures here it is with the irritator gallimimus and the hacky cephalosaurus and some of the larger Dino Tracker figures. Here it is with the Orco Raptor, and here it is with Vista Perversa. And here it is with the Hammond Collection Ankylosaurus. And lastly, here it is with the Hammond Collection T Rex. The Rex is just a little bit bigger than this new Indominus figure, so they don't really scale that well together. Remember, the Indominus just being a little bit bigger than Rexy. In Jurassic World, but I'm sure when we finally get a Hammond Collection version of the Indominus, it was scaled much better with the Hammond Collection Rex. So, final thoughts on the new Indominus Rex. 
like I said earlier, I'm really glad I picked this up. I think it's a much better version than the original. Original is still a great toy. If you don't want to upgrade, uh, you will be perfectly fine. But I like the new improvements on this one. A much more proportionate looking head and body. The tail uh, is nice and proportionate. Like I said in the, uh, the film, the tail always looked a little bit small. So for once, a you know undersized tail on uh, one of Mattel figures actually works. And just all around, it's just really fun. Love the action features. The camouflage action, camouflage action looks really, really great, especially in low light. All around, another fantastic Indominus Rex story from Mattel. They seem to always hit it on the head, even though they've only done this figure uh, twice. Well, technically three times. It was that uh, you know extreme damage one. That was at Walmart for half a second. That's commanding like ludicrous prices right now. But that was just an upgrade over the original. So yeah, really, really like this figure. Highly recommended. And like I said at the beginning of the review, if you want to pick this figure up for yourself, I'll leave a link down below in the description to Target. Uh, at the time of this review, I believe that 25% off sale is still going on. So if you want to save some money on this thing, definitely get it like by Saturday before the sale ends. So that will do for the review. Uh, I just got a bunch of new stuff coming. I have a ton of stuff coming in from Holland God. PNS, so I still got some more Jurassic World reviews to catch up on. So there'll be a lot of reviews this month, so stay tuned for all of that. And as always, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously, and it's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.